Hello everyone, this is King Opa, Lord of the Thrift. Um, back to talk to you about another item that I uh, picked up at a garage sale the other day. Um, I thought it was kind of fun. The, the reason I purchased it was um, I've been looking at it and I wondered if it was silver or sterling silver and um, when I um, looked at it closely and I don't know if you can see it but right there it says sterling right right there where my thumb is um, so this is like a little knife I didn't really know what it was for though um, but I like the sterling silver handle and the um, you know it's got a very ornate and uh, sort of Victorian looking and uh, it was kind of fun and I picked this up for a dollar which was a pretty good deal but I really didn't know what kind of knife this was for. At first I thought maybe, well, maybe this is like a for fruit or something like that. As you'll notice, it has like a serrated edge uh, right here, right there where my thumb is. And then, uh, of course, it has the blade part of the knife right there. And it's probably about five inches long uh, in entirety. The metal blade is not silver. I did a magnet test on that. That's just regular metal, but this handle here is uh, definitely silver and is marked silver. And uh, when I did the magnet test, I didn't have any magnetivity or anything. So um, anyway, I did some research trying to figure out what this was and uh, could not for the life of me figure it out. And finally, my daughter mentioned to me, she said, oh, I wonder if it's a quill knife. And I thought, oh, a quill knife, what's that for? So I started digging around, looking up quill knives. And of course, back before they had fountain pens and regular pens, people used quills to write with, with ink. And um, what I found out about this knife is that, it, yes, it was used to sharpen quills. Um, you would use this part of the blade here, apparently. But also, um, this is what is known as a Victorian ink eraser. So, of course, back in the day, um, we didn't have rub they didn't have rubber erasers. And so if you were writing with your quill and made a mistake um, on the parchment paper, whatever type of paper you were using, um, and you wanted to correct that mistake, you would use one of these. And what you would do is you would scrape the ink off where you had made the mistake, and then, of course, um, start writing uh, whatever it is you're writing letter or journal or whatever it might be so that's what this was for it's called a it was also used for quills but primarily as an ink eraser or scraper and uh, again this is from the Victorian age um, guessing it's well over a hundred years old it is made out of uh, the handle is made out of sterling silver and uh, really really kind of a fun find. Um, like I said, I purchased it at a garage sale for a dollar. It was in a bag of some sewing um, needles. I'm not sure what it was doing in there, but I uh, felt pretty good about this purchase. Um, recently sold it um, about 60 times what I paid for it, so that was fun. But the, again, the most fun part was trying to figure out what this thing was. And uh, after doing some research and with the help of my daughter, I was able to figure it out. So anyway, thought I'd share this with you. I thought it was kind of neat. It's very different. Don't make too many purchases like this, but um, uh, I may in the future. It's a lot of fun trying to figure these things out. So anyway, thought I'd share that with you. I hope everyone is well and uh, um, it's good to, to join you again today. And um uh, I uh, will um, see you next time and take care and uh, best wishes. This is King Opa, Lord of the Thrift. Bye-bye.